Not so long ago, Destin Sandler's backwards brain bicycle became a social media sensation. In fact, by the time that I stumbled upon his video clip, there were already more than 23 million viewers. Now, if you are like one of me and you kind of missed this video clip, you're not one of the 23 million, have a quick look at the following. Just to ride this bike 10 feet across the stage. Everybody thought he could do it. Oh, no, 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 you didn't understand. You didn't understand. So, this way. Okay. All right, I'm just like, oh. All right, so, uh, whatever you're at, yeah. Quick, quick. No, no, you have to keep your feet on. This bicycle is actually so simple. One of Destin's colleagues at work took a bicycle and engineered it in such a way so that when you turn the steering wheel to the left hand side, the front wheel will turn to the right and vice versa. Now it seems so straightforward, but it makes the bicycle, according to many experts out there, practically impossible to ride. <laughs> Now very quickly, the public wanted to know more. Destin was asked to take his backwards brain bicycle to schools and universities and all sorts of places to show people how difficult it is to change a mindset or a thinking pattern. The more the public saw, the more the public wanted to give it a try and it even obtained some myth-busting status. This bicycle has been modified so that the handlebars, when turned left, move the wheel right and vice versa. It sounds like a simple tweak, but it supposedly makes one of these bikes impossible to ride. Six riders, three tries each, 18 total attempts. How many of those went the full 12 feet? Zero. We're gonna have to call this myth confirmed. It is impossible to ride a reverse bike without a lot of practice. Well, the more that people try to ride this bike, the bigger is the conclusion that this is humanly impossible without months and months of training. Destin explains why. The algorithm that's associated with riding a bike in your brain is just that complicated. Think about it. Downwards force on the pedals, leaning your whole body, pulling and pushing the handlebars, gyroscopic precession in the wheels. Every single force is part of this algorithm. And if you change any one part, it affects the entire control system. I do not make definitive statements that often, but I'm telling you right now, you cannot ride this bicycle. You might think you can, but you can't. I know this because I'm often asked to speak at universities and conferences and I take the bike with me. It's always the same. People think they're gonna try some trick or they're just gonna power through it. It doesn't work. Your brain cannot handle this. Now Destin, I know what I'm saying now sounds super arrogant, but I do believe I can ride that bicycle of yours. In fact, I actually believe that I can ride that bicycle without any training or practicing on it. Now. I want to make this very clear. With what I'm about to attempt to do, I do not want to disregard any learning that people got from the backwards bicycle. All I want to do is I want to attack this problem from a slightly different angle and I want to show you how the mind works. For more than a decade, I've been looking at how the human mind works, how thinking patterns are formed, uh, why do we get so stuck and why is it so difficult to get unstuck? I mean, the one thing we all want for ourselves, for our businesses, for our country is change, positive change. And yet that is the one thing we struggle with most. I think your experiment pointed us in the right direction to figure out what the problem is. So this is what I'm going to attempt to do. I want to show you how I can within 30 minutes rewire my brain so that when I do get on a backward bicycle, I will be able to ride it. So if you want to see how I do this, 
tune in tomorrow and I will show you how I start the rewiring process.